What's going on, everybody? So, Derby City Card Show, Louisville, Kentucky. Very, very good show. Um, didn't really hear too many dealers not doing well, which is always good. I seen a lot of cash floating around, which is always a positive thing at the show. Um, for myself, I moved a lot. Did some trade and cash deals. Um, bought some cards. I'll go over those. I could tell you now, just from talking, a lot of people came by. They're looking for stuff you don't see at every table. And it's just that easy onto it. When you have, um, like, Joe Montana autos, I'm not talking about the Leafs stuff. You know, some of the basketball rookies from last year, Giddy, Franz Wagner, um, Sagoon, all that stuff combined. People were looking for that stuff there. Um, we had some people looking for vintage as well. Not many this time. That's kind of shocking, from at least what I heard from walking around. But people were looking for Hall of Fame autographs and just weren't really around. And if they were, they were, you know, if it's selling for 200 person, one 300 for type deal. So got to make a lot of deals today. Very happy overall. Move inventory. Get fresh stuff in. Their next show is June. You had to think about that for a minute. I know he said May was canceled due to the government elections, so June will be the next show. I believe it was the third, so I'll be set back up there. All right, you guys, ready to see what I got? Only seven total cards. Seven. Not many, but real well. First one, a guy was set up behind me, um, and it was, like, really, really dead at first, so... I went over there to find some stuff, uh, did a little package deal up. You guys remember football pole or the football gridiron? Oh, looky what I found. Walter Payton, rookie. I'm going to get great now. I will tell you the corner up there a little is dinged. Um, I'm hoping for an SGC4. I got those 10 free grades from SGC, so I'll have to do a bit follow-up video on that. It'll be one of the cards going to SGC. And hopefully it does really well. I mean, if it grades five or six, I mean, boo-hoo. That's a big grand prize next year. All right, that was number one. And he gave it to me at a really good price for raw. I was really happy because everybody else is always, like, super high in the raw prices. Something I don't see a lot. SP Authentic. Jerome Bettis. Players, Inc. Let me get it up to the screen so you guys can see it. I know it has this sleeve on, so it's going to be a little bit harder. So let me see if I can rechange focus. Boom. So, pretty cool. Don't see this often out and about. Probably might be another SGC, I'm thinking. Offhand. Uh, 99. And don't mind these on back. He said they were old anyhow. I forget those were even on there. So, 1999. Not even close to what I got it for. Final one that was part of that package deal. Don't see a lot of this. Troy Aikman. Upper Deck Authentics. This was from Encore, On Card Auto. Again, don't mind the price on top. It just says markings onto it. It was, I guess it's 99.2. I just can't find it. Yep, 99. There it is, way down here. 99 autograph. Everybody's always asking me for cowboy stuff. I found a cowboy. I was trying to get the Emma Smith, but we couldn't find any kind of prices on it. So we pushed off of that. Next one was a trade into this card, plus I got cash, too, on top of it. I traded that from the PSA that I just got in. Both 10s, the Sagoon and the Giddy, along with the PSA 8 Spectra Ritter. So I got cash, and I picked this up. XR, Herbert, rookie, out of 25. I was debating between the gold standard. I just went this because I've always had gold standard stuff and I can't get that thing to come up. There it is, out 25. Really nice, sharp looking card. I mean, either way, I would knew there was going to be whiting, either gold standard or this. They always have it. Um, again, don't mind this. This was notes that he had going on for a while on the stuff. But pretty cool to get to trade. It, that was not the value we found on those stickers on the back. Trust me, those are from a long time ago. But um, pretty cool. Picked another Herbie Auto up offhand onto it. Next deal actually came to the table. Uh, I had a couple people come by with stuff today. And if you ever do come, you're going to bring a lot. Just let me know ahead of time so I know to bring more cash. 
But um, because I don't really ever bring a whole lot of cash when I go. Uh, normally I rely on the sales and rebuy. Let me fix this. I don't like these cases that much. It's coming out anyhow. There we go. Chris Olave, downtown from Don Russ. Not too sure what I'm going to do with it this year. Um, maybe graded. Maybe hold it. I have no idea. But really good deal. Um, we looked at We knew that they, they're still pretty high up there. So picked it up. I mean, if I graded it, it should be a 9. I know there was a small divot on it. And there's a mark up on top here. It's a really, really fine line. So I figured I'd grab it. What the heck? Downtowns. Everybody's always asked for them. Believe it or not, first show, I did not see a whole lot of downtowns and kabooms. Don't know why. It was really odd. I saw on campuses, but I don't. from what I remember walking around, I did not see any of their downtowns or kabooms. It really shocked me. All right, last deal. I traded my Tyrese Maxi um, Silver Select Rookie Auto. Got basically, it was weird. I bought a card, then we did a trade for cash and cards. So I guess you can kind of say, pick this up for the Maxi, I guess, in a way. It's up first, Panini one on one. Dwayne Wade out of 35. Still sealed. Bada bing. Don't know what I'll do with it. Might crack it. I mean, because this case has been handled a lot. Those so got them scratches on them, really nitpicky on stuff like that. So I've been great. I know the back's off center, but PSA is usually pretty good on stuff like that. And I believe somewhere down here, I seen there was something like towards the edge. But I may just grade it. I don't know yet. Haven't really given it much thought. And pick this up too. This would have been a redemption. Donovan Mitchell in flight select auto. These are pretty cool. They're doing anywhere from like 80 to 130, I think we found. So, not bad. Number down 99. So, pretty happy with all these. I think the D, D, or D Wade, wow. The Donovan Mitchell will go out to be graded for sure. But pick those up, you know, change some stuff around. Stuff that I've been holding for a while. Get some fresh stuff in. Got to buy more fresh stuff type deal. The replenish the showcase for June. But overall, very, very good card show. I enjoyed uh, having some talks out there on just different items out there. Um, different topics into the hobby about the Becca grading scale. Believe it or not, I just got an email. Let's see if I can pull it here. Oh, not there. I think I could show you guys this. I don't think it has my personal email on it. I don't know. I won't I won't pull because I think it might pull up some other stuff. But it says, Dear loyal Becca customers, we are grateful for your feedback insights. You have shared with us over the past 48 hours. Your passion for our brand hobby is truly remarkable. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, where to go here? Next sentence. After listening carefully to the feedback you all shared, we have decided not to make any changes to our grading scale at this time. So if you guys seen all the big long videos for April Fools and all that stuff, by they're gonna change all this way they were doing slabs and all that. Looks like it's not gonna happen. It says we will keep you updated with an official announcement later next week regarding improvements to our grading scale. So not too sure. I we heard that like if you quad nine five the card now you're gonna get a gem mint ten. All this other stuff out there. Um, what sucks is, and I'll probably hit this in another video. But what the part that really sucks is they've had a grading standard for a long time frame. So now when you go to change that, it alters everything that was done before that. So I know a lot of people are really highly. Pissed, I guess would be the best way of saying it at it. I don't blame them. Because you had like Becca 10s that were out there. And now all of a sudden you're going to give a 10 for quad 9 fives and stuff like that. I didn't really look much into it. I just heard the little uh, talk about it. I guess you could say gossip, whatever it is out there. But, you know, and that's the one reason why PSA's never done a 9-5. They incorporated the 8-5-7-5 and all that the whole way down. But if they did a 9.5, it would alter everything they've graded so far throughout, you know, decades. Same with Beckett. If you do that, you're really screwing the pooch on people that put investments in those cards. You're going to start seeing a lot of people saying, you know what, I don't like it. 
I'm going to crack it and go to another company, whether it's PSA or SGC or maybe even CSG. So we'll see how that unfolds as well, too. But other than that, guys, appreciate y'all watching the video. You guys take care. Have a good rest of the week. I am out. Catch you next one.